Hello folks, uh, doing a little video here today on a catapola tree. Uh, this tree is uh, non-native to the uh, state of Virginia where I live. I'm, I'm down in southwest Virginia and uh, it's uh, early spring. It's uh, like May the, the 11th and these are the leaves here I'm showing you of the catapola tree uh, and these are the where it's been blooming here and getting ready to bloom. These things have great big long beans on them. The beans are about uh, uh, oh, 12 inches long or so and they're uh, actually what they are is like bean pods and inside of those pods they have the seeds. Uh, I may be able to find one here on the ground from last year and show you folks what they look like. As a matter of fact, I think this is uh, a pod right here. Actually, there's a couple of pods here from last year. These are the seed pods. You can see that they busted open, and uh, they've already released their their seed. Here's one that that hasn't busted open. Uh, those two right there have, or that one hasn't. But this one right here has, and you can see in that channel there, they've had little seeds. And this one here, that's been busted open too. This one here, however, did not bust open. And uh, there should be some seeds in there if I can open this thing up and hold the camera at the same time. Um, but they appear to have uh, kind of rotted inside the inside the, the pod. But anyway, that's what the uh, dried up pod of the catapola tree looks like. And this, like I say, down here, once again, this is the leaves and where they're starting to bloom. And the base of the tree, let me take you over here to the base of the tree. The base of the tree uh, is, uh, looks to be about three foot in, uh, in diameter here um, as you can see uh, my hand if I put my hand right up against it you can see how big the the tree is my hand it's probably at least uh, six inches or so from my one finger to the end of my thumb there so it's a good uh, right in that particular area it's a good uh, two and a half, three feet. I would say it's in three foot in diameter and it's got uh, poison ivy growing up to the side of it. This is poison ivy right here uh, growing up the side of the tree. But this is a catapola tree and uh, they have these big uh, long bean pods on them which have seeds in them and here's another one right here laying on the ground. It's another uh, uh, seed pod. This one right here seems maybe let's see what it looks like. If I can get it open. Uh, there are some little seeds. As you can see inside of the seed inside of that seed pod there are some little bitty seeds. Let's see if I can coax them out of there. kind of tough to do but anyway they've got little little seeds inside of that seed pod there you can see them but like I say that's a seed pod from from last year and uh, anyway that's the tree down there big old catapola tree these things also have a a type of moth that feeds exclusively on these trees and uh, they get worms on them. They're, the worms are uh, about two and a half inches long, two inches, two and a half inches long, somewhere in there. And they're multicolored. Uh, and uh, people use them for fishing bait. They say catfish really love them. They're called catapola worms. And I reckon the moth that feeds on these trees 
perhaps maybe called the catapola moth. I'm really not sure. But there's a specific moth that feeds exclusively, that lays her eggs exclusively on these trees. And then the larva, of course, eats up the leaves. Sometimes you'll see if it's really infestated really bad, they'll really, really eat up the tree pretty bad. Uh, I don't see any uh, leaves being ate on yet, but it's early in the year. The moths uh, may be coming out or they may already be out and may have laid their eggs, but they just haven't hatched out and started to, to eat on the leaves yet. But once again, this is uh, a catapola tree. I'm gonna walk down here and take a look at take a look at the leaves again. You can see the leaf structure. They're kind of like heart shaped, and they've got a sharp tip on the end. This one here, right on the very end, uh, curves off to the left, and this one here, over here, it curves off to the left a little bit too. But there's another one over here. That curves off a little bit to the right. So uh, anyway, that's the catapola tree. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you please, if you do uh, like my videos, please subscribe and I will keep putting them on here for you. So anyway, thanks a lot and you folks have a nice day.